Hey, welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the, the Walt Twins. Twins. Tonight, we cook again. That's right. We're cooking another Asian favorite. My goodness gracious, these Asian dishes have become so fun and simple to cook on the black side. And so tasty. Absolutely oh. amazing. My goodness. Yes, yeah, so kind of what we're doing is we're going to combine a little bit of what we did with the teppanyaki hibachi cook as well as our live stir fry cook. We want to combine those and show you our take on chicken, chicken fried, fried rice. rice. If that sounds like something you'd be interested to see our take on this amazing dish, then stick around while we dig in. I can't believe the wall twins. They're right there. That's one of them. That's the other one. I'm the other one. Like we said, welcome back. However, if this is your first time, welcome. welcome. And consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we do together, which is cooking, hanging out, laughing, having a good time. That's pretty much it. Brett, real quick, let's talk about the groceries that are going into our chicken fried rice. And by the way, I remember the first time figuring I wanted to do chicken fried rice, I thought I'd never be able to. This is gonna yeah. be super hard. Turns out, not so difficult. What do we got? Quick. So we're throwing down four eggs. We basically measure how the amount of eggs per cups of rice that we use. Of course, we got rice, four cups of rice, jasmine rice, two chicken breasts that we've uh, that we've obviously cubed up. We've got a half of a medium-sized onion diced, and then we got the soy sauce, but today we're using sweet soy sauce. This is Adam's favorite soy, uh, soy sauce. We're gonna throw in just a very little bit of uh, sesame oil for just for extra flavor, it's very aromatic, delicious. We got mixed veggies and sesame seeds for looks and a little pop with your bite. That is right. Now, one of the biggest keys to creating this fried rice is similar to the teppanyaki cook in that we had to prep the rice earlier. We made this earlier today. It was in the fridge for about eight hours. Uh, eight to 10 hours. So the longer it's in there, the more it's gonna dry out. The hardest thing is when you throw fresh rice onto the Blackstone or a griddle flat iron it gets really sticky. So by the way, you hear the sounds of Florida in the background, the nature? Those birds are going crazy. For the wall twins, can I get a what, what? <laughs> like always, this is gonna be a low and slow cook. We're gonna start with our chicken because the chicken's gonna take pretty much the longest. Everything you'll see here is gonna kick relatively quick and we're just gonna go down the line. So once the chicken's ready, we'll toss on the veggies, push those together, get those simmering together. Then we'll toss the, the rice, get the soy sauce in there. We'll actually put soy sauce with the chicken, then soy sauce again with the rice, get everything going, put, put the eggs in at the end, mix it all together, and this is gonna be a big mix. Now the vegetable mix, typically we, we use just peas and carrots. Uh, peas and carrots, <laughs> just a peas and carrots mix. However, I was really surprised when I went to the store. The vegetables were gone, man. It was really, really hard. We ended up getting a vegetable mix, so I figured this will work just as well. Remember, work. use what works for you. You could even do some stir fry vegetables if you wanted your yeah, own take absolutely. on Absolutely. So let's go ahead and let's start getting this thing going. So we also have two cloves of minced garlic that uh, we will throw in once we lay the oil down. That will actually just help really season up not only the chicken, but everything else. So yep. we're looking forward to that. Now, no salt and pepper, nothing else that will go into this. Um, you can salt and pepper to taste at the end yeah, if you want. I, I've seen recipes and, and, and talked to people that in this recipe, they do use salt and pepper. I've learned with the Asian dishes, it's best to just cook it without the salt and pepper and let the person, each person salt and pepper to their own palate. So right. that's, that's what we're gonna do here tonight. Perfect, and we do have our handy dandy vegetable oil. So first things first, we're gonna lay down. Yep, we're gonna lay support. down the oil. Now typically we work from our left to right. Tonight we're actually gonna be working right to left. So our main cooking is gonna be over here in the right. So we're just laying down a little bit of oil for our chicken. And what we're gonna do is as everything cooks, we're gonna move it all the way to the left as we're gonna use the left side as a warming station. That's right, so we got we'll our, start oh, yep, the garlic. All right. And then garlic can burn very quickly. Ooh, yes. So we wanna work fast with it. Go ahead and just dump that on. Yep. There we go. There we go. All right, take those. Now, uh, with this, we've got cubed chicken, but as we go, we will actually be chopping this up. We wanna make this a lot more fine. Like I said, this is low and slow, but this has been on for about five to seven minutes. So you can hear that sizzle all ready. So I'm gonna take this, I am left-handed, start getting some chops here. As yep. it starts to cook, it gets a little bit easier to chop up. I'm gonna go ahead and toss on a little bit of the sesame oil. Now we use just a touch yeah, of the you, sesame oil. You just oil. want a very little bit. And we'll oh, be doing that man. to each por part portion of this cook. Now. Oh, that smells what so What you need good. to do right now is think of your favorite Asian restaurant 
because the Wall Twins just took you there. In this, Smell-O-Vision. In Smell-O-Vision. This is... Oh, it's going to get even better. That stuff is thick and uh, rich. Amazing. Look at this, bro. All right. We got a lot of mouths to feed. We're going to chop this up little. Make sure that we get enough chicken to go around. And I want advantage to pre-cubing the chicken is the fact that he can get it on. It's only been on, what, for a few minutes, and the chicken's already cooking most of the way through. If we were just to throw two the two chicken breasts on uncut, they're gonna take a lot longer to cook. So uh, pre-cutting, in fact, if you wanted to do even like thin like slices, that'll cook even quicker. And then you can take the, the chopper and just kinda uh, dice them up that way too, or cube them up as well. So now for our chicken stir fry, we left the pieces like this and even a little bit bigger. But since this is, the, the main focus is actually the, the, the fried rice, we're actually going to chop this a little bit finer and we'll keep playing with it as we go. Again, this is your dish. You can do whatever you want with it. You, you can do, Bob you Ross. Do. You Bob Ross the heck out of this chicken. I'm gonna shift this on over. Down to our cool side. Now I'm going all with our veggies without oil. <laughs> Go ahead and toss some oil all on right. in there. I'm gonna get some oil in there, Adam. You now, got? these are frozen vegetables, but all we wanna do is literally just bring them up to temperature and then we're gonna move on with life. And yeah, it, you can put it even in here because it's gonna get if mixed you, in there. If, That's you it. Are, if you are cooking for frozen vegetables, don't worry. You don't have to thaw them out. Toss them right on from the freezer. That's just fine. A little bit of sesame oil. Just a little. And some soy sauce. And Smells so good. Get soy sauce in there. Nice. Yeah, this is definitely a strong veggie mix. Usually a peas and carrots goes a long way. But we've got some lima beans oh, Adam. in here. We've got some uh, other green beans. Oh yeah, put the onions in here. Are we doing the whole thing of onions? Yep. Decide? Okay, so we're tossing the onions in here as well into our mix. That looks oh, pretty. Those onions actually smell really good, bro. Mm -hmm. Now we want this to cook a little bit. In fact, when I pull this off, I don't want this to completely be on a cool side. I want this to continue cooking. Yeah, you might just want to tuck it back here to the left a little bit. Yeah. You've got plenty of space for the rice, so. Yep. We're gonna do that. Now on our teppanyaki cook, we did six cups of rice. This we're just doing four. So we're not cooking as much rice. It's still gonna be a large and messy cook, but that's okay. I like when these, when the onions really cook out. I'm not a huge onion fan, but I like it when it cooks in nice, get a nice rich flavor on those. Not sauteed, but definitely cooked onions. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll just give this another minute. Like I said, all I'm doing is warming this up. To me, the cook for this is specific to the onions. I want the onions to get nice and cooked in here. Let's get our line of veggies. All right, so a little more oil for the soil. <laughs> little oil for the that rice. Makes. And we got a lot of rice. So we got a lot of oil, not a lot of oil, just a little bit. That was maybe a tablespoon. Okay, and I'm just gonna scrape this down into the, onto the blackstone, onto the griddle. Okay. This is what we left it in the fridge on. So a little bit stuck to it, that's okay. And we left it out like this. We did not cover it because covering will collect the steam and therefore, thereby keeping it Nice and moist. All right. Wet. We do not want it wet. We want it to dry out. All right. All we're doing is mixing this up. It's got a little soy that was left over from before. We're going to put a lot more oh boy soy in here. Oh man. Now, once this is just about to our liking, we'll go ahead and we'll put the eggs in here. Yeah. And I would say even a little more soy, bro. Okay. So this is the fried rice portion of, well, the fried rice dish right here, where um, the rice has already been cooked. Now we're frying it, in essence, on the griddle top, on the blackstone. So tell me when you're ready for the eggs. Bro, we'll give, give it a good minute. Let me mix the color, get it nice and solid, that light brown from the soy. My veggies still cooking over here. Push this over just a bit. 
Oh man, this smells so good. It does. It just reminds me of when we did the teppanyaki cook, man. That yep. hibachi style. Yep. Oh my gosh, so yum. Now, these will give your hands a workout, man. I am getting a war out, but it's fun. Let me push this back. Let's go ahead and get some eggs in here. You got it, dude. So let me so know when you're ready. Toss some oil yep. down. Yep, I'm gonna give a big swath of area for you to put some oil in, or uh, the eggs down. I wanna make sure that the eggs for the most part, don't stick. They may stick just a little bit from all the cook that's been going on. All right, there we go. One hand, nice. You're always good. You always got that down pat. Right. Yes, I do. <laughs> just as I say it. <laughs> oh, that one came out good. All right. Thought for sure I was gonna get some egg on there or some shell. Boom. All right, we're making sure we're not sticking here. Let me get one more, and you're golden, bro. All right, we got four eggs. Like we said, we got four cups of, uh, ooh, you got shell in here, brother. I did? You got shell no! in here. No! Brett has failed, we got some shell. Where? That's all right. Okay, all but right. Look at that, just not sticking, dude. So I'm gonna just cook this for just a second. As soon as this is ready, I'm gonna mix this in. To the rice. Right to the rice. That rice looks and smells Absolutely, me. I seriously want to take a fork and bite into it. I will burn my mouth, so I won't. <laughs> All right, that is just about the way I want it. And that rice, brother, that just, look at that color. You smell that. Oh my goodness, yes, And now we're just gonna, about to the final step, which is gonna be mixing the egg. And then once the egg is mixed in, it's gonna be about mixing everything else. And that is, it is a big, Sloppy mess, our chicken fried rice. So that is cooked. We're gonna dump this on in here. Let's pull the rice. And now when Adam's done here, he can basically just, uh, pretty much just kill the heat and get everything married together. That's right. In fact, we can, that's all cooked now. Let's go ahead and kill the heat all together because this is gonna stay warm. This is gonna be a nice warm surface on which to mix everything. All right, so we actually, drawing that whole bag of vegetables, we look and we don't need that many vegetables. Nope. I like more chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Hence chicken fried rice. This isn't chicken and veggie fried rice. So no. What we'll do is we'll actually hold on to the rest of this. This will go in another dish. Oh man, I'm glad I caught that. Look at that mountain of deliciousness right there. Oh, I'm looking, bro. What do you think? More sesame oil? Any more soy sauce? Let's, you know what? That's gonna be to taste. This is just about perfect. Yeah, it smells perfect. The chicken was a little light on the soy, uh, the uh, but the the um, rice. rice looks just about perfect, man. I mean, now some people don't like the sweet soy sauce. This is how we do it. Some use just regular soy sauce. Like, uh, like me. Right, and I've even seen where they just throw salt in it. It's a little bit of soy, some salt, and mm -hmm. call it good. Yep. So the last little touch here, Brett is going to throw on a minuscule amount, just a small amount. You pour um, a little in my hand of sesame seeds. Of sesame seeds. Now, when we did it with the teppanyaki cook, it was almost too much. Now we're just using the white sesame seeds just to give it a little snap, uh, just kind of for the top, just to give it some nice color to make it look nice. With the cicadas buzzing in the background, we have, which tells us another Florida rain has come and gone. The evening has come. We're happy to be here. We're happy to try this. This smells spectacular. This is very close to that teppanyaki cook. However, this is sweeter, kind of like the stir fry cook that we did live. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But we added the sesame oil to yep. give it a little bit of a yep. kick. I'm excited, this smells delicious. And I'm not gonna lie, I was worried about those vegetables. We didn't use all the vegetables. We pushed some off to the side, and this has plenty of vegetables. Regardless. Plenty of veggies, and it's probably just because it's not peas and carrots, which we typically typically put in this dish. And to, and not to mention, last time we did rice, we did six cups. This is four cups. Listen, we did this, and we, we did it for what we thought worked along the way. Now, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Like yeah, no need. Say, this can look delicious, which it does. It looks like a big old slop of Asian deliciousness. It can smell amazing. Smell-o-vision. I am sure someone in the family is about to come out and tell us smells like a, an Asian restaurant. Yep. 
But if this doesn't taste amazing, then this was all, all for naught. Not. So let's go ahead, dig in, make sure I get some good chicken on this yeah, bag. Yeah, we got some chicken. Ooh, some rice, a little bit of everything. I gotta hold on, man. Hold on, let's do this. I know, cheers. I'll, I'll eat, eat to that, that, my, my brother. brother. Mm -hmm. Oh, brother. Bro, oh, brother. There we go. Yet again, and I will say that veggie mix is just fine, man. But I will tell you, I love the yep. onions. The onions cook perfect. Yep. Mm. Those onions give it a perfect snap. Now, my only thing, like we didn't, we didn't put any salt, any pepper, nothing else on this. I would like a little salt just for my own personal palate. Otherwise, this is perfect off, off of the, off, this is restaurant quality, dude. If I was at a restaurant, this mm -hmm. would be the same thing that I would get, and I'd add a little bit of salt to that, too. I, I won't oh, even God. add salt. I'm just gonna add a little, actually, regular soy sauce. Oh my Maybe God. even a little more of that sweet soy sauce. Sweet mm -hmm. soy sauce is very sweet. <laughs> it's good, but this regular is... soy sauce, maybe some yum yum sauce. Oh, we had yum yum sauce, that would be legit. I just took a big bite with two pieces of chicken, and that was unbelievable. Perfect, the chicken is cooked to perfection. It's not chewy, mm. you can bite right through it. It's the perfect cook. I'm so happy we did this. And I love how simple this is. If this helped you kind of learn another fun, quick, easy, mm. easy Asian dish, something else that you can cook on the Blackstone Griddle, make sure and give this a thumbs up. However, if you didn't like our take on it, for some reason you just didn't like this overall, we understand, we totally get it. Go ahead and hit the thumbs down two times because we're with you, we understand. We're not with you, we just understand. <laughs> we like it. <laughs> It really is delicious. I'm super excited about this one. But Brett, yeah. um, we've got a ton of mouths to feed. Yeah, we, we do. They're all lining up right we out here. Lining <laughs> up. We got to get to the masses. So let's get up out of here. But aside from coming to make these amazing dishes on the Blackstone Griddle or just cooking in general like we love to do, why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And adults. Forget, Forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on. on.